Well, it's the enacting the, the Passion of Christ, dramatic form, from the carrying of the cross to the resurrection, trying to accomplish it in, in one hour, and bringing in another dimension to it, how it affects the world today, how it affects the poor, how it affects those who've gone before us and died, all this uh, uh, being encompassed in the death and resurrection of Christ. It's as relevant today as ever. And how long are they running for? The actual, this, this is the 26th occasion of this presentation, yes. And where did you get the idea from? But is it your own idea, yeah? Well, no, no, I mean, I didn't think of the passion. The passion was there, oh, except yeah. that when the grounds here are very su was very suitable and accommodating for such a drama to put on, because you have the Calvary and you have and you have the resurrection tomb, and uh, it was an ideal place to put on that drama. Uh, the uh, the based on Abramago, or is it? I have never seen Abramago. I've never seen it. It's, it's based on the gospel. It's based on the gospel, yes. yes. And people come here every year. Every year. Same yes. people. No, not the same people. Some Did people, there's a person, two people last night, a couple have been here for the last 26 years, every night. Uh, people come from various parts, Belfast, Fermanagh, Clare, Westcommon, Galway. Yeah, they come from different parts in, in Dublin. And how old is the Abbey now? The Abbey's almost 800 years. In two years' time, it'll be 800 years old. You're planning a big celebration? Well, we're planning celebrations. I mean, uh, 800 years before that, St. Patrick came here. Mm. So the old Pilgrim Road is still available and still people travel on the old Pilgrim Road that he travelled on. Yeah. You put a lot of work into this, have you, over the years? There's a lot of work has been put in, yes. Well, you personally put a lot of no, work? No, the community have put the work in. I've worked in the gaffer. Uh, they need a leader. <laughs> uh, yeah, and so, so uh, the community, a great community, a great uh, team. Of, you know, like uh, how long does the event last for about? One hour. One hour, yeah. Yes, one hour. And you have music? There's music and there's background music and there's also lights and the sound turned around the whole lot. Vivian Doody's up there and his crew, they're wonderful. They, they, we have, they have portrayed and given a, a meaning to the whole lot. This is the 26th year that they have put on this uh, production of the Passion Play. So I want to thank them all for their enthusiasm uh, every year. year, after year. There are some people behind that can't be seen at all. To get angels to come become old women and then to become the children again requires a lot of bag and baggage. And that's due to very much to Teresa and to Mary. So to thank you, Teresa and Mary, for all the help. And not forgetting that in order to carry those bags and baggage, and uh, there are three young boys who have done that back and over, back and over. So we want to give them a clap as well. <laughs> I want to thank the people who helped you in the car park, who welcomed you in here and made you feel welcome. And I do hope you do feel welcome. Some of the voices have gone to heaven and their voices still linger on in our memory and in our love. So we want to remember those as well. We hope that you will have a safe journey home and tomorrow is the last night and if you know anybody that might benefit from this and hasn't seen it, you might pass the word along. Thank you very much, God bless. And on your way home, there, out the gate, there are some boxes and uh, little uh, white barrels, you know, that uh, a little contribution would go, would go a long way. Thank you very, very much. Good night, God bless. Take care. Thank you, Paul, Paul. I'd like you to get your hands together and give a big round of applause to Father Frank Fahey for all his work here.